In this one, we're going to go ahead and create a larger landscape that we can use to generate a landscape actor in Unreal with a height map, as well as some masks that we can use to drive a layered landscape material. I'm going to go ahead and start with a canyon node. First thing I'm going to do is set the style to classic, which removes some of that erosion. And now I want to decrease the slot a little bit and increase the valley a little bit. And that'll give us a nice open space here in the middle. Some of these, these higher vertical forms here can be a little bit problematic when you're dealing with a height map as opposed to geometry, although they didn't, didn't look that great in the geometry either, but you get a lot of texture stretching with this kind of stuff. So we probably want to be a little bit mindful of that. I think I will throw an erosion in here to potentially soften some of that stuff up a bit. Reduce the duration just to get a little bit more of a ramp rather than a vertical feature. Out of here, let's go ahead and do a stratify. Stratify is going to give us these nice terraces. You can see it tends to work better on this side than on this side. And I think the reason is there's just uh, the, the features here are oriented this way, so it's not really showing up. So we could play with the intensity and the shape and the seed and the spacing. Just kind of noodle around with it. Well, that's not too bad. This is more of just a tour of a few more nodes here. Grabbing outcrops. And that's going to give us these nice big blocky, rocky, chunky forms, which I like quite a bit. If we increase the strata, Can sort of see what the impact of that is but it is sort of dominating everything so i think i'm just going to walk it back a little bit let's go ahead and do a sandstone and the sandstone is going to have a nice flattening effect on some of these surfaces here which i i do like a little bit i'm going to increase the passes and the iterations You can see that flattening effect is somewhat accentuated. Going to add a clip. And what this clip is going to do is give me a nice flat area here at the bottom. That looks okay. Now I want to add a sediment. And what sediments is going to do is just soften all the transitions out, but I really only want it at the bottom. So I'm going to add a mask by height, slide this down, and then really tighten it up at the bottom. So we just get a little bit of some softening there. And then I'm going to pull out of this and add a sand. And again, here we want to just isolate the sand at the bottom. So we'll do a mask by height. Very, very low values there. So we can end up with like kind of a cliff face with a little bit of a path here in the middle. And if this was like, a, you could imagine like a one by one kilometer area, these sandy dune things are going to be pretty massive. But this is, again, just sort of a demonstration to show you how how some of the stuff can work, but we can make this a little bit lower. So we still get the read without it being something that would be awkward potentially for a player to run around on. Let's go ahead and bump up the resolution on this to uh, 4K and pause the video. So here we are, you can see, obviously there's something weird going on. It's in the sediments node. I'm not entirely sure why this is, but you have to reduce this down to a much lower scale. 4k and it'll give you a better looking result so you can see what this looks like at 4k i'm just kind of looking out for this kind of stuff where it's maybe going to be a little bit stretchy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to scoot this over we'll set this back to 1k and then i want to add an erosion we'll do an erosion 2 
And then this is what I'll pipe into the sediments. So basically everything related to the sand will be after the erosion node. Let me just give that a sec to process. Okay. You can kind of see here when I click on the erosion, what's happening. So there is before and there's after. So it's definitely hitting it pretty hard. Try to find the sweet spot where we're handling some of the stuff. Also, we can add a, a height mouse to it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll hold the shift key. Just kind of scoot that down a little bit. A little more fall off. Okay. And then we have our sediments and the sand. Great. I think this will be effective for what it is that uh, we're trying to look at here. Let's go ahead and add a texture base. And then an adjust. And on the adjust, we'll hit equalize. And that'll be effective. We're just we're just going to throw some random data into Unreal and, and see how it breaks out on the uh, the landscape layer. So so th this will be fine. Let's go ahead and mark this one for export. Mark for export. We should see it over here in our build. I'm going to rename it to mask. We want this to be a PNG eight. And then the sand, this is where we want to export our height map. So I'll just type in export over here. And we haven't talked about this much, but this is where you can set whether or not it's a height field or a mask. So I'm going to go ahead and set this as a height field. And then we can do one of these is like a, let me show you kind of what I'm looking for. If I come over to Unreal, I guess I didn't mention this or maybe I did, I can't remember, but there's a plugin uh, for Gaia that works in 5.3 and 5.4, but not 5.5, which is what I'm using. So anyway, if you set this to R16, that will give you a slightly higher quality uh, output. And then also you can see here, this is where we're going to export our target sizes. No matter what I set in my build settings in terms of the resolution, this is going to overrule it. So if I set it to 2017 by 2017, uh, effectively a 2K map, that's what I'm going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this for export as well. I don't think it matters that this isn't connected to a plugin, but we'll know here momentarily. So what I was looking for with this export was that R16, this guy right there, but I, I don't see it. So go ahead and delete that. And this is just about ready for export. All we've got here is our height map, which will be exported at 2K, and this, which we can export at uh, 2K as well. So we'll come over to the build settings. So this uh, being 2K is going to mean this is going to be exported at 2048, which means we're going to need to modify it. We'll do all that stuff, though. It's pretty easy. We'll take care of that here shortly. Let's go to build, and I will pick a folder for this. And then just hit execute build. Oh, I need to save it first. Let it cook. All right, here's what I got. So I got the, even though I named it mask, it still called it a jest. Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. And here's our H sand out. So that's going to be basically coming out of here and that's going to be the, the height map. So take a quick look at this, see if that makes sense. Yeah, fine. Cool. All right. In the next one, we're going to set this up in Unreal. See you there.